This is bait, bro. This is bait, bro. This is bait. I remember Iron Bark Lookout, I think. I think that was the last one, yeah? That shit was horrifying. All of these games are good. I don't even know what we're gonna do in this game. Woodbury Getaway. So we going on vacation? It says Sydney Harper, a 23-year-old working at a consulting firm, plans a weekend getaway to a Wood Woodbury rental with her college friends. Little did she know what was about to unfold during their stay. Very positive reviews already, bro. And it's Friday the 13th. This shit horrifying. Fears to fathom? Woodbury getaway. Ladies and gentlemen, let's fucking do this. This the last one? The grand finale. Yeah, aren't these true stories, bro? Wait, I forgot that. Aren't these true stories? If you have a story, share it to Fears to Fathom stories. Allegedly. Yep, based true stories. Holy sh dude. I hope Woodbury nice. Fears to fathom. This shit gonna be cursed, bro. It's Friday the 13th tonight. The fact these are all true makes it so much scarier. Man, what is this? Scrutinized? Oh, hell no. Damn, look at that view, bro. Last one's the clock out. Spelling your worst fear. Bro. I placed like third in a spelling bee at my school. That ain't bad. Nah, I was like fourth. I think it was fourth. We got chips? Nah, I'm coming back. Who's that Harry Potter bee? I feel like Hagrid about to pop out. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna head out, bro. What do you want, Sid? Huh? B bitch, what? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking if you needed anything, bitch. Sorry to bother you? Nah. I'm not a beta woman. What is he even doing? It's like missing a thumb. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't these clients ever make up their minds? I know. I just want to leave, bro. What keeps you here so late again? Uh, I'm a hard-ass worker, bro. Just finalizing the report. Oh. You, didn't, oh. you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Had to go pee-pee? Before we leave? Damn. What's the objective? Man, what? The janitor's half-assing this, bro. What? Are we paying them? They just left. <laughs> that glass broke, and he's like, bro, I'll do this shit tomorrow. Bro, read chat, get coffee? Fine, bro. Damn! I thought y'all just wanted me to get coffee. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Hmm. Cappuccino. Oh, nice. Oh, we got the whole setup. Yup. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, just set it there. It needed water. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Why did it, like, black out? Oh. Boom. That shit looked kind of red. Maybe it's spicy. I needed to put a lid. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I know that shit hit. Dude, she gonna be up all night. Hell nah. Just like me, bro. I don't drink a Celsius like an hour ago. I'm fucked. Go piss. I was done with it. some hand sanitizer bro what i wanted the hand sanitizer not chad don't look uh, fall in i had to put the toilet seat down yeah <laughs> my bad that nasty ass nah i'm setting the to the toilet paper on the around the lid no nah. <laughs> nah you gotta pop a squat on that what do I E to P? Get it done. Fuck, this make me have to pee, I won't lie.
uh, the only other person in this office was a dude. Hey! I still hear him typing, too. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Holy shit! Bruh. What were you on a lunch break at 9 p.m., bitch? God damn! I definitely slipped and fell, bro. Look at me. His ass just smiling. Pick that shit up! Why are you just looking at me? Why does that kind of look like XQC? Get up. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. Yeah, that's pretty fucking accurate. His ass still typing. <laughs> Bro. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked it before I came in, but... There isn't usually anyone in here this late. Bro, why was he all up on my fucking stall? Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but... I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor. All over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Those bastards. I even threw mine away, bro. You see it? That's really rude. Will I need to get back to it? Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Alright, have a good night. Why am I crouched, bro? Uh, excuse me, bitch? Alright, I'ma leave. Is that mine? Uh-oh. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Uh... Mike is retail? What? What? Fucking what? I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. Who the fuck is Mike? Going to voicemail. Is everything alright? Is this my boyfriend? My phone's been acting up lately? Bro. <sighs> w excuse. Oh snap, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, were we? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Overtime. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called no, you. No, it's not. I'm up. getting bread. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just you seem no. a bit annoyed about me calling. Seriously, Harp, it's just a bad <laughs> time. Mike, come on. I'll do it now. That's the Sydney Harper I know. I'm sorry if I was being pushy. So we're going on a trip together? Oh, we must be together. Right? Or... See my sugar daddy? I'm just struggling a little... Nah. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bitch to him? What? We're going on a trip. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick He's you horny. up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Okay, Mike. What do you want to go get sushi? You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Nora? Who's Nora? Say no? POV, you're a baddie? Bro. I don't even know what Mike looks like, bro. I don't think there's FaceTime. This dinosaur ass phone. Dude, what did we do? He's not like the murderer or something, right? What the fuck? We're going on a trip together. So, it would make sense that we'd hang out, right? Yo, I don't want to, like, choices matter, I think, with this. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yeah, you better be ready, Mike. Buying me fucking dinner. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. What the fuck? <sighs> Bro, do they even have a jacuzzi $100 a night, Mike? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. So is this like our friend group? Nora. <laughs> Whatever, Mike. <laughs> Bro, this looks like my fucking middle school library <laughs> search engine, bro. What do I search up? Did he send me a link? Woodbury. Huh? Rent a cabin.com. Hurry the fuck up, bro. Bougie. Search up single moms what? near you. 
expensive, bougie, hot tubs. Three fifty. Bro, we're gonna get murdered. Three stars, two reviews. So one review was good, and one had a terrible experience. This looked pretty nice, Loki. I want to read the review. Can I read it? That's kind of important. No? That shit was easy, okay. Oh. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily, so I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. Yeah, it was late as shit. Did I even leave? The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story plate. Fuck! Restart it, bro. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Does he like me or the other chick? Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. Hell yeah, bro. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Why you read like a set of kid? Bro, shut up. Oh. Yo, we got the OG. Afternoon. Quite chilly today, eh? I I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? <laughs> Bro, we were about to be friends. Because I'm into that shit. Video games, all that. How do you know I'm on the 10th floor? I've never met you. Don't say that's right. Oh, I, I said that's right by saying, how do you know? Is he playing? I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get groceries before the snow starts. You too. To hang up? What? <laughs> Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? Yo, that's a sweet truck. I won't lie. What's good, Michael? Harp? <laughs> Can I smell that shit, bro? Get back from work? That's still how you hug people? Alright, motherfucker. I can just go home and watch Netflix, bitch. Why don't you hug me like you miss me, bro? Okay. I already have the ick, dog. Long hug? True. Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. And you passed. You smell like shit. Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Well, you didn't scrub in between your cheeks, bro. <laughs> I know. So do you, Mike? Oh, sh You can just throw your stuff in the back. We'll get on our way. Okay. Those are brewskis. How do I toss this? How do I fucking put it in the back, bro? What? Elevator. What are you talking about? Did I leave my bag? What? Go to the fucking elevator, bro. Now what? Oh my god. Somebody could have stole that shit. Bro, help me, Michael. Homie is not a gentleman. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this! <coughs> Yo, you buying me dinner, bro? It's 426. I'm hungry as shit. Who is that? It was starting to snow. This shit gonna make me sad, bro. Yo, keep your eyes on the road. What is he doing? Harp, isn't it weird? 
We used to dream about escaping our college. And now, here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Exit? What do you mean, exit? Bro. Oh, I thought you meant exit the car. What the fuck? My bad. Harp, do you ever miss college? Only the cafeteria food. True. Holy, I miss those tacos. Bro, I would go to a campus just to get the food. Mike likes you? Yeah, you don't say, bro. Mike kind of bad, though. Check messages. Holy, I miss those tacos. Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. What are they, dragging a school bus? What? They're gonna put slicks on it. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read- Get the fuck out of the road, buddy! Oh, snap. That was close! You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. What kind of message? Exit. <laughs> this playlist kind of sad, bro. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Oh my god. Just turn on a podcast or something, bro. What the fuck? I'm about to watch a movie. You serious? You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. <laughs> Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. <laughs> There's no other thing to say, are you serious? Oh, I'm just listening. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> Bro, the exit thing. Five fourteen. We're fucking in the, in the in the bed of the truck. <clears throat> Check Sydney's phone, brother. Yo, Harp. Pizza? Bad, bro. Bad. Let's fucking go, bro. Okay, we really are homies. Maybe I do like Nora, bro. Y'all think I'm gay? Hey. You know, Harp. I gotta tell you. These new GPS systems are something else. Bro, can we just get some pizza? This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. What? They don't got Apple Maps? What year is it? Did it say? I'm so hungry I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too, bro. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <gasps> Alright, dude. Just give me some Hawaiian pizza with the ranch dog. I'll wait right here. Are we going together? Open the door for me, bitch. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. Come in, Harp! Thank you. That dude buff as shit. What? Is that queso? What the fuck? What's good, bro? Bro, what do you do for forearms? What the fuck? Oh, he be, he be in the dough, bro. Maybe that's a method. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. All right, bro. I trust you. Are they beefy? What the fuck? Listen, Phil. I'm just clearly the better looking. You can worry about report once you get that rhino Fuck up. Are you serious? <laughs> he looks like he's trying to fight someone. What you the fuck? What was that? Actually, they don't give a shit. This pizza must be slapping, bro. Camera. Let me get a cheese. Just cheese. Ooh. Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat. Damn, bro. You need a lineup. We'll get three slices each, bro. Whole pizza. I'll go with the pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. 
what, what the fuck is this dude doing? <laughs> Yo, he's tripping, bro. Is he trying to get a ride? Uh-uh. And for you, miss? Cheese. All right, what's your second slice? Cheese. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Bro, I want to die of Coke. What the fuck? All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 22 fit. God! Michael. This should better be good, Mo. Are you Mo? Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. What is this dude doing, bro? He's tweaking. Should have let Mike pay? Wait, was that the dot dot dot? Should I talk to him? Long sniff. <sighs> yeah, dude, bro. Where's this pizza? Twenty-two dollars, bro. Is this a group chat? What? Oh, you guys are going to. Yeah. Hate Nora, <laughs> the ratatouille music in the back, bro. What? Beat me! I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. Bro, let's get pizza to go to. One of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. All right, I'll Nora. Get this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Why does my ass have to stay up? I'm gonna stay up anyways. I won't lie. I'm gonna be up late. What? He's sketching me out, bro. I think the buff pizza dude like me. Damn, someone's going ham. Y'all hear that? So, did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What do you mean by that? What can we do? Let's go build a snowman! Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Yo, what? God damn, bro! Slow down! Order number 27. You folks are right here. He's trying to get the, the cheese and cheeks, bro. Damn, motherfucker! Let me sit down. Where's your pizza? Oh, I'm getting it. Thank you. Oh, all right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Yep. I'm going to eat this whole thing, bro. Where's the... Am I weird for eating it with ranch, bro? I'd be dipping the crust in it and shit, bro. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received the confirmation text. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. We're on our way and should be there. Thanks for checking in. Please confirm when... Fresh ingredients, timeless taste. This should make me hungry is that's it? What? Oh damn! This pizza slaps! Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Damn, Sydney! Damn, Harp! You is my name not Harp, bro? Or I mean Sydney? He's confusing the fuck out of me. That's just like my nickname. You actually eat the crust? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough? Damn, Harp. I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? That's not even comparable, bro. What? Eat your damn pizza. Hey there, my friends. He's trying to get a ride, bro. <laughs> Hello. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? Should I be a bitch, bro? That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road. Seems like we might, uh, be going the same direction. No. Where's your car? Who needs a car when 
there are fine friends like you to pass the time with. <laughs> Brother, respectfully, I'm just trying to eat my fucking pizza, and we're going to party, just the three of my friends. No. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. I, I bet I could smell you. Quiet as a church mouse, and tw twice as nice! So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down a snowy... No. You kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? Now he's crashing out. You want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? No. What were you saying? Mm -hmm. Well, that was weird. Bro, why didn't you stick up for me? He didn't even order anything. Bro, watch the truck. He's gonna pop our tires, bro. I feel bad for the guy, though. <laughs> After all these years, you're still that same old harp. That shit look frozen. Yeah, get the crust, bro. Get the crust. Yup. Feeling the glycogen stores, baby. We're gonna have such a nice pump tomorrow. <laughs> uh. You wanna go lift tomorrow, bro? Yeah, I'm done, bro. Woo! Woo! Yo, you're eating your pizza loud as fuck, bro. Close your damn mouth. Thank you, Mo. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Should we drive, bro? Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Uh, why don't you drive part of the way home? Uh, I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Give me the keys. Fine. But there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever, bro. Ooh, that shit barely started. 549. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WK. It looks so awkward, bro. You're not even buckled up. Bringing you the best Was to warm your heart. Ah! Is that a cop? As we embrace the first snowfall of the season. Like Sorry, our car is uh, the weather. Here's a track that'll make you feel right at hand. Stay warm. Oh shit! What we got under the hood? Damn, Michael. This stage two. Yo, watch out, buddy! Watch the fuck out, buddy! Oh, 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 oh. Horrible driver for real, bro. Whatever. Michael is, bro. Michael lusted for me. Woodbury, here we go. Get out. I think it was a very cold night. I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Follow him. Bro, fix your form. Go, you first. I'm scared. Why are we getting out here, Harp? Where do we park then, bro? You park it. Does it say the numbers? Is this not it? Wait, hold on. I remember what it looks like from the pictures. No. Is it this one? It's this one. Th yes. Step into my room. Leave with bloody lips. Here we are! My legs fell asleep one second. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Aren't you going to get your bag? 
Bro, what are you gonna do about it? Go around, buddy! Go around! You see the driveway? Oh, I won't lie, I'm in the way a little bit. Bro. Now what? Now oh, now you can go, buddy! Okay, dude. Okay. Let's go. Door's locked. Hold on to slide. Bro, Nora, hurry your ass up. Nice. Fuck is this music? <clears throat> What a great place! I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the John. The John? Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Why is he hitting John? Who's John? What's this horrifying ass music, bro? What? Spirit Link Games? Okay, dude. Yeah, no. Nah. Maybe later. Cooler. Ooh. What's this? Lemons? Apples. Eggs. Hell yeah. The best milk. 100% natural. Farms bell pepper. Okay. We gonna whip something up. Froyo. Nice. Lettuce. Woo! Sorry about that harp. Are you okay? That pe long drives and all that pizza really did a number on me. No worries. Thanks for handling that harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm. You just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. I'm going pee. Sorry, my bladder's the size of a damn pistachio. All right, we're actually going pee? I thought that that was a perfect time to go pee. I won't lie. I was gonna hold it, but my brain don't even work the same. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Ew, bro. Text the cabin guy. Oh. Rick. Oh, okay. We here, bro. Hi, we checked in. You think Harp would speak like that, bro? You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. What are we doing? What? Watching Adult Swim or something? What's this, ESPN? This living room is bigger than my apartment. <laughs> bro. What do you want to do, crossword? Do you have a car? Do you have insurance? Do you have a dog? Is he trying no. to kiss me? Well, what is he doing? Because here at Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership, we have it all. Is he the damn killer? Dog. What the fuck? And then buy a car for that Yo, back dog, up, bro. along with a purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. One-year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006. Only two ninety-nine ninety-nine. Let's just sit down, bro. We offer. Wow. The 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 brick is a really nice touch. Can't wait to cook here later. When did you start cooking? I ain't gonna lie, I didn't ask Michael. Check upstairs, dumbass, bro. Bro, we're doing a whole ass ho house tour. Chill out. Too bad. Why do you close the door? Too bad we're not here for long enough to do laundry. In the laundry room, bro? What are you doing? Is that lotion and toilet paper? Hey, yo. They got the setup. I call dibs on this one. 
All yours, bro. There's probably hella spiders in this joint. Look at all this wood. He's a creep. Yeah, he's kind of being weird, bro. He's all up in my shit. He don't give me space. All yours. <laughs> ah! Holy shit! What the fuck is this? Oh, hey, you're here. Bro. Why is he watching nothing? Just straight static. Bro, can you back up? Oopsie daisy! I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We're not a couple. You didn't have to sell that hard, Harp. So he do like me. Bro, you're not supposed to say that, bro. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you... Never mind. <laughs> bro, get the... Get up out of my shit! What? It's like breathing on me. Silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh. I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Huh? Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. Bro, though rent has started, bitch. Get the fuck up out the crib, I. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. What the fuck? Is he on the other side of the door? <laughs> He's so pissed. Speaking of that, now you folks are here to let me show you around my sweet home. We already did a house tour, bro. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Run. Pepper spray the old bastard. Kick his ass, Michael. Oh. Host was a middle-aged man. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Wait, you got a beard? It's been a while? Nah, I just been growing it for like two weeks. Here's your shower! That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Good night. Mega consume. Good night. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Yo, what? Wait till I show you the deck. Oh, okay. Follow me now, please. <laughs> Jump his ass? What? He's the owner, bro. I don't... He's just a little weird. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. <laughs> Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch a cold here again. <laughs> Here's the storage room. Okay. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright, folks. Let's head downstairs now. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. Huh? I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter... I better show you folks the water heater. Can we just watch a movie or something? Oh, hell no. Oh, nah. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Aye, bro.
I'm just looking around. Take a picture of that shit, bro. Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Let's do weird as fuck. Did I mention, well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. What the fuck? Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Bro, was that shit in the reviews or the fine print? You fucking kidding me? A hundred bucks. Per night. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> He's trying to kiss me, bro. Okay. <laughs> the looks on your face is... <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. <laughs> At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around 6 out of 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Yo, that cat dead. What do you mean, find that cat? In the snow? Thanks for showing us around. Lock that shit, bro. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. Bro, get your little creepy ass out the crib, bro. A pretty name for a pretty girl. <laughs> Michael Wolf is ass, bro. Is it just me? Or is that dude super weird? Very. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. That's what I'm saying, bro. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Is there one in here? Oh. Mm -hmm. They got soap on deck? Raid. Shampoo. Dang. Did you even scrub? Alright. The tap didn't fuck. Why would you want to be up here then? All right. Oh, hell nah. I'm just in my towel. What, a scream about to get me, bro? Uh, what just opened? You going ice fishing? What? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? <laughs> now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. I don't know. It's kind of cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? Bro, can we just get, like, like Chinese or something? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah! Follow me! There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. <coughs> Your room is a vibe today? Thank you, bro. Come on, Harp. It's this way. <laughs> Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah! Just give me a second. Will I fucking leave? Now, real talk, how are we gonna fish? Where the fuck? Did he say the other shed? I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls, bro. Where was the other one? Whatever happened to watching a movie? I don't know, bro. Now he wants to catch some fish. Oh. Bait? Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp. Though, you up for the challenge? Well, first things first. We need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. Boom. Let's go. I guess, th is, is this carp season? Yo, 
Oh, I bet it's cold as shit, bro. He don't even have gloves. I hope those carp are biting today. Are they even alive in there? Yeah, wh where the fuck is Nora to put on the hook? Look at us. Just carping. Recast. Oh my god, he got one. Are you serious? Dude, it, is the cheese expired? We got dinner, baby. Common carp. Is there rare carp? Keep. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. He killed her? What? Bro's gonna catch ice cubes. Where the fuck is Nora? Bro, we should probably check on her. Who's that? Bite. Boom. Yeah, it's over, buddy. Put a lemon pepper on you. Keep. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, you're getting fried. We only got commons? All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw... I don't know why I, th I, I read throw cheeks, bro. I'm so dyslexic, bro. It's cause the it's cause this looked like a C, Loki. Head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Oh, let's go. Tell me you feel right, bro. We left the fucking fridge open, bro. The milk's gone. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Should I just do it? Sure. Just take a bowl. Throw it. Throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. You fucking kidding me? I don't remember it all that long. On it. How do I put this shit down? What is that noise? Is that the AC? Yo, close the door. Pretty much everything, right? Ginger, cooking oil. Do we got some oil? Boom. Black pepper. Italian, need that. Ginger, need that. And yogurt, boom. <clears throat> I need milk? There. Bitch, what do you mean? Oil? Milk. No milk. Maybe later. Italian. Paprika? Yep. Where the fuck is yogurt? Wait, is this ready? <gasps> do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it? Maybe he drank it? Raw? Marinade. Is this? Oh, veggies. Now, could you add the veggies? I got you. I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Got it. Y'all think it's gonna be good? Does that sound good? It's like fish casserole. I mean, I guess. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I guess we could. Bro, where's Nora? This is weird. This is just like date night now. He actually likes me too. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room. Or in the room. Next to the living room. Alright. Monopoly? Some shit? Nora Def got clipped? By who? The freaky dude? Or the dude that was trying to hitch a ride? Catopoly? Oh snap, is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. 
remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're dead, bro. Watch out for spiders down here. Okay. <laughs> Ages 14 to adult. You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if the thing really works. You look so submissive, Michael. How do I turn off? Ooh. Turn this one off. No? Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yeah. All right then, you go first. Do you want us to leave? Okay, Michael. Uh what the fuck? I didn't even see what the first one. Fuck, bro. Yes. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay. I got one too. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. G. J. J. Uh. P. Wait, R. P. L. The fuck? What the fuck did he say? What? What's your name? N. M. J. I haven't heard that one before. My turn. Oh, he was my turn. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Well, he just said yes, so I mean, he just wants us to leave. What the fuck? What? Are you serious? I got chills, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me, Michael? He dipped. You, you pussy, bro. You just dipped on me, bro. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me! What the hell, Harp? I figured you would've moved your ass too! W excuse, bro. Would've been nice if you checked, bro. Be like, come on, Harp. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? I mean, I guess. Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? <sighs> Whatever. Oh shit, it's ready. How's it looking? Where'd the sauce go? Oh. I mean... I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Had to grab a plate. Mmm. Omega threes. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all see his leg? Straight chilling. You gonna turn it on? So first, we are gonna prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot. Are you fucking kidding me? Salt is good Can we the watch bones. The Walking Dead or something? After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start What was that noise? Was that the, the TV? And take a couple cocoa beans. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the I sauce. Can't turn it off. What the little bit of vinegar? The show is the this? Next thing is this Berlizzi talking? You. I'm not gonna This lie. is Dante. What? Is it both them? Here you are, what? anyway, listening to my notes. Are those limes? This what? Dish or is or potato chips? Hard. Or potatoes? What? A dish only for experienced cooks. Mm. It requires a lot of patience. Yo, Mike don't like that still. shit, bro. Look at him. What you He's pretending to eat. Is I was done with it. Half half. Harp, that was some diesel. damn fine food. Twice so as good since we caught the fish ourselves. To a boil, it was really we good. Put in our ramen. We make a I great team, Harp. Hey, anyways, I need to check uh, my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Into the I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up. Scientific. Bill Nye who? 
The gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules. <laughs> what? Bill Nye who? Yeah, you go do your thing, bro. Dishwashing. Yeah, close that, bro. Me stinky. There we go. I can't pick that up. Michael. I think there's someone under my bed right now. What? Can you come upstairs? Is there a fucking knife? Yo. Get that, bro. Under my bed. What? This is bait, bro. This is bait, bro. This is bait. Bro, Mike, what the fuck, bro? I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever, bro. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round. How about a game of hide and seek? What the fuck? Bro, we are bored as fuck out here. Where's Nora? Do we give a fuck about Nora? I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. <laughs> All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Bitch, there's nowhere to hide down. I decided to hide where? Ten seconds later. I know you're in there. Bro, you're looking at So weird, Michael. You're not getting nothing tonight, buddy. Bro, I what would happen if I didn't talk? Huh? What? Huh? Aha! Got you! That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Good one, dude. <laughs> Bro. All right, my turn to hide now. You you better close your eyes and start counting. I have no idea what just happened. I think I wasn't supposed to come out <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right. One Mississippi. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> I bet he's hiding in that closet I hid in first. Gotcha, bitch. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. You're going to try this again? No kidding, Sid Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No. I swear on my life I heard something. Bitch, find a bat. I see this attic access door in here. Oh, no. Nah, no. Nah. I'm not going in there. What the fuck? Got them Disney knees. All right. You fucking ready? Couldn't reach it without a step stool. Bro, I don't like that fucking... That voice thing. That was like the one where we stayed in the motel. And we had to hide in the closet. Now I got a new water too. Number three. What's this? 33.8 fluid ounces. Or one quarter if you're... UK. Step ladder in shed daddy max. There's a cat? What? Why is Mike making you do this? I don't know, bro. It was just a cat. Okay. To pet? What was that? It was just a cat, Michael. Why is there a cat? What? Is that that dude's cat? Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. All right, I think it was your turn. <laughs> in the tool shed in the backyard. In 10 seconds? Wait, close that, close that. 
It's a case. Oh no, there's a shovel. That's a good weapon. Here, right? Off light. True. Well, it was on when I came in. Oh, I hope you don't find me. <laughs> Peek through the window. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> Blind ass, bro. The lights are off. Bro, what are we doing, bro? Aha! There you are! Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Oh my god, Mike. Bro, you're not getting cheeks, Mike. What the fuck was that? Did y'all see that? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Get the shovel, Mike. Did y'all see that? Oh, I'm tripping. Nah, God, I saw I saw someone run in the front, bro. It's a screech. Mike was hiding. <laughs> what, Mississippi? <laughs> To me. We're gonna fucking die, bro. I saw something run in the front. I swear, bro. And unless there was a bird or something, like what the fuck? I don't know where he's hiding, bro. Probably upstairs. Ah! Ah! Get the fuck out, bro. Does he have a gun? What is that? What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Uh, what are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Bro, isn't that fucking illegal? When people rent something out without showing up with no notice. Yeah, you're getting a bad review, bro. Nice try, buddy. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. He has a hammer, though, bro. Chill. Chill, bro. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know tools you need. Isn't this late work for you? Bro, get this stupid ass smile off your face, bro. That fucking coal zip up, bro. <laughs> yeah, give me that hammer, bro. No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you, I'll get this sink fixed for you real soon. Bro, he looks like Epstein, bro. There's definitely cameras in, in this crib, bro. 1,000%. Wait, ask about the cat. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave? Yes. Yes. Unequivocally, positively, yes. No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we, I, we don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Bro, he almost had that. He had it in the first half. I thought he was crashing out on him. I was like, oh my god, Michael. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. Oh, hell nah. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Thanks, bitch. We can use the other tap. Fucking weirdo, bro. Hello? Michael. Hello? <laughs> I almost refunded, bro. That was a good story. Up t After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Uh, yeah. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest.
Uh, Nora is still not here, as she's dead. Michael? had a heart attack dog open door before i start throwing cheeks man <laughs> bro hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door do you mind if i come in i'd like to talk about something the storm is starting to get really bad i can hardly see the truck in the driveway yeah, uh, I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Wait, what? To keep me? We're talking about Nora, huh? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? It's 4.30, bro. I don't... Maybe he's, like, having that, that kind of night. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our gateway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. We rented the damn house. True. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need sleep now, Mike. Bro, <laughs> you did not post up like that. Why don't you come sit by me, Cindy? Yo. Harp, you know. I've missed this. Just let Mike clap your cheeks, SND sleep afterwards. <laughs> Bro! Us, just talking. It's been so long. What, what, you just want to talk? You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, offended him, bro. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. What happened in Oregon? I do remember it really well. Yo. Oh yeah? Do tell. Oh my god, bro. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot of drink. Things happen. They sure did? I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. What? SOS please? Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Uh, we should probably help our friend. She just said SOS, bro. I don't know why you're sitting like that. You're freaking me out, bro. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I... I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? It's 4.30 in the morning, bro. Oh. Look <laughs> how pissed Mike is, bro. He's like, bro, I just wanted to smash, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, Nora? What, what timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice I things for Mike you, Sydney. I bet Mike leaves you alone and old man comes for your cheeks. <laughs> I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. I'm still not letting you hit. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Did he just leave the fucking door open? 
Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? <laughs> He's on the other side of the door. Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. <laughs> Not now, Mike. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. <laughs> I'm playing hard to get, bro. Nah, let me check every fucking door opening. This is like scrutinized, bro. Checking all the windows. I was keen on some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. He picked her up that quick? Oh, until they arrive. Oh. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Here we go, bro. Doorbell? That means it's not Michael. Okay. Daddy Rick's here. Stop! Fucking banging on the door? Nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. What do I do, bro? Do I... Talk to him? I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't care. Answer door, it's the Lord Jesus. The realization? <laughs> what the f Yo! Nah! I'm not opening the door, bro. I don't give a fuck. That was that the dude from That was the dude from the pizza place. Hell nah. Bro, go back to the pizza place, bitch. There ain't no police though, bro. Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night. Yeah! But I'm in a bad spot here. Go fucking bang on someone else's door, bitch! I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're lying your ass off? You're trying to hitch a ride at the pizza place, bitch. No. No. No, you're not coming in. You're simply not coming in, bro. Oh, no. Get the shovel, bitch. Yeah, we'll see, bro. Oh, yeah. Who are you talking to like that, bro? You're talking crazy, bro. You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? Now he's gaslighting. I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm, buddy. I shouldn't have known you'd be a big bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. Man, go get some fucking slices then, bitch. Bro, I slice you. What? You think... Your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still... I knew... That was him at the creek. When I said, who is that on the bridge? Unkind. Get out. Or I'll call the cops, bro. Even though there's not cops. Yeah, there ain't no cops, bitch. So it's a fucking purge. You better get out here. You're not welcome in these parts. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Is there really no Is there really no cops, bro? So what are we supposed to do? There's just no cops. Okay. Get the shotgun. Please direct me to the shotgun, bro. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming for you, to you, for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Okay, you're still gonna freeze, bro. I don't want. Yeah, it's like talking shit is gonna let me, or it's gonna let him in, bro. Like we're gonna have tea together or something. You don't bang on someone's door when you want to fucking. Like there's other houses. What are you having a seizure? What the fuck? Just like blinking? Yeah. Are we sleeping? Hello? Sleep paralysis? Nah, nah, no, not like this, bro. Nah, get up. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. 
Rick, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you come back over? There's someone who meant to... Rick, what did he throw shit at my window? I'm gonna leave you. I can't even. Bro, this dude is so creepy, bro. What time is it? That clock's broken, bro. And he has a hammer. Bitch, you don't think I can see you right now? Fucking weirdo, bro. Open door? Nah. Open the door, miss. It's me. Bro, I don't trust Rick. Are you fucking serious? What the hell's going on here? No, no, I don't give a fuck. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. What does that mean? Could have been anyone or no one at all. Okay, dude. I think you need to leave. You and your bitch ass hammer, bro. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Huh? What did. Did Rick whoop his ass? Oh my god. Uh. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier? He should be back soon. Mm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Oh my god. Did he kill that hitchhiker dude? Oh my god. Come back over? What do you mean? I, I haven't been to the rental in weeks. I'm out, bitch. Need a bitch. Bro, I don't care how cold it is! I don't! Get the shovel, bro! Oh my god. What? He's just gonna kill me, bro. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, and they have guns. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. No, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? Oh, 12 o'clock elbow your shit, bitch. I swear. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Uh, that's against the law and the fine print, buddy. Try me. You need to leave right now. If anyone... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It will be one of us. Yeah, it's gonna be your bitch ass. Wait, what? Mm. Ah! What? No! 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 No, respawn me, bro. Nah, nah, nah. No, no. Give me the shovel. Hey, old man, come get my hat. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, leave.
Are you fucking kidding me? Nora. Nora. Are you serious, bitch? Oh my god. Go downstairs. Why would I do that, bro? Why would I do that? Is he not right there? He left, he left, he left, he left, he left, he left. Oh, hey, I could have opened that. Sorry. Nora. I told them everything that happened after my kid left. Rick had called the cops, so there was cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And, of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Are you serious, bro? I could have handled him. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seem to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. <laughs> this happy ass piano music. Rick asked me what the man looked like after that. He didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Oh, that's good. This was a true story? Bro. What the fuck was Nora doing, bro? If this was a true story. They're like, Nora, you won't fucking believe what just happened, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, Berlizzi. I'm Dante. And Queso? Yeah, so that was Queso. So that's the best ending, right? Yeah, take him away. We're hunting him down. Oh wait, they didn't find him, bro. He got away. Fuck. Is that a good ending? I guess it's a true story. We can't really control what happens. Are they still looking for him? Thank you, Rail. Thank you for fears to fathom. Is that the end, bro? That's the end of fears to fathom? Mike was too busy getting Nora's cheeks while you trying to survive for your dear life. Wow. Yeah, that's a conspiracy, bro. Is that what actually happened, do you think? She's like, oh, Michael, I'm so stuck out here, bro. God damn. You think they're going to make something else? I bet they're going to make a different game. You know what I'm saying? They're probably just going to move on. Dude, good shit. That was a good ass series, bro. I won't lie. I fucked with that so much. What would you rate that one out of 10? Aside from the fucking... I don't know if I didn't see the spindle thing, so I could have just had a better spawn. When I was trying to go for a good ending, but... 7 out of 8? Yeah, I'd give that a 9 out of 10. I think that Iron Bark Lookout was really good. Dude, I don't know. What was the best one, dog? Can't really say. They're all great together as a whole. Epic fucking saga, bro. Hey, everyone say goodbye to YouTube. Alright. YouTube! Thank you guys for playing Fears to Fathom with us. Uh, we'll see what Ryle has in store for us. Until next time, peace out, baby!